hello everyone so in this video we are going to do an experiment which tells us which x path is faster is it absolute x path or relative x path let's find out so before starting the experiment to find out uh, faster x path let's make an assumption so here based on my knowledge on the absolute x path and relative x path I'll make an assumption on which X path is actually faster. So here, uh, let me copy the absolute X path, which is actually starting from the starting node that is from HTML. And uh, then it tells the uh, address of the input, uh, like from uh, step by step covering all the nodes from HTML tag to input node. So, so this is basically uh, from the Gmail uh, login page. So when I input the absolute text path, you can see it's highlighting the email text field. Okay. So here basically uh, the absolute text path start from the HTML tag. Then it goes to the body tag. Here is the body tag and then it goes to the first div tag. Sorry, first div tag and another first div tag and then it's going to the div 2 here like I mentioned here. So similarly, it's traversing all the path node by node to reach the input tag of the text field for email or phone. So yeah, this is the absolute text path. Uh, so when it comes to the relative X path, it's very small. So first it is the input tag. So okay, let's uh, type all input tag. Okay, when I type the input here, you can see it returns seven input tags. So after that, once we give the condition that is here at the rate ID equal to identifier ID, then only one input tag is fetched. So here my assumption is since absolute uh, X path is giving the complete address of the input tag, it's very clear. So what uh, uh, what is the path it has to follow to find out the element? But when it comes to the relative X path, so first it search for input tags, which will return uh, seven uh, elements, and then it has to search for ID equal to identifier ID. So it has to search each uh, input tag uh, among that seven tags, and once it finds this ID equal to identifier ID, it should be uh, it it should be fine. But uh, since there are many uh, input tags like seven, so it takes more time. I assume it takes more time for the relative X path uh, to find the element compared to the absolute X path, which is uh, uh, very clear, uh, like what nodes to follow, like from starting HTML node to what is the path to follow or to reach the input tag. So that's my assumption. So uh but uh, i need to do the experiment to find out actually the reality so here i have the program which i have written so i'll explain this what's exactly we're doing here so first is just a driver location so and then we have three drivers okay so you can see Gmail driver, Facebook driver and Yahoo mail driver. So here I have actually selected three pages for the experiment. So because I don't want to go with a single HTML page, if I do so the experiment may be biased. So I want to sell. I took randomly three websites. So I took Gmail login, Facebook login and Yahoo mail login. So and I have initialized the three drivers for that. And you can see driver.get this gmail.html is the uh, login page of Gmail and similarly Facebook and Yahoo. But you can see that uh, 
I'm actually I'm actually uh, running this uh, uh, pages on my local server. You can see the local host. I pasted uh, Gmail, Facebook and Yahoo login pages on my local server. So the reason is if I access this uh, Gmail and Facebook uh, from original server, so then I have to uh, I have to call these pages from the browser and you know that uh, it will uh, it also depends like the uh, uh, loading time of the page also depends on the internet speed. So uh, if there is a case that my internet speed is fast while uh, uh, loading the Gmail page and my internet speed may be slow while uh, I'm accessing Facebook page then the results will be best. So I downloaded these pages and just placed on the local server Tomcat and I just restarted so that I'm not like my our experiment is not dependent on the internet connection. OK, then after that I initialize explicit wait and I'm actually waiting till the presence of the element. So I'm just waiting for the page to completely load so that I, we can start the experiment from then okay then uh, we'll directly come here to the find element okay uh, so here we're trying to find the element using the relative x path on the gmail and on the facebook we are trying to find the element using re uh, relative x path and similarly for the yahoo mail okay but i'm repeating this uh, for 200 times so I'm repeating the same find element for 200 times the reason I'm doing this is if I do the looping for more number of times so we can get the uh, results accurately near to uh, correct uh, there will be more accuracy in the results uh, compared to doing the uh, find element only one or two times so after finding the element you can also see in the beginning we have a start time okay we are capturing the start time then we are entering the loop and we are finding the element just repeatedly for 200 times and then we are capturing the end time okay then we can get the total time by using end time minus start time okay so this is a total time for the rate to x path and then I am actually repeating this experiment for five times. Actually, if you see here, I'm repeating the experiment for five times. So we'll have five total times which we can compare against each other. So you can see I'm doing the same thing for the absolute x path as well. Okay, so we'll also have a total time for absolute x path similar to that uh, relative x path. So we are repeating this thing for five times. So we'll have a five total times of related to X path and five total times of absolute X path. So yeah, we should be enough to compare both of these. And yeah, the last thing is nothing but just closing the driver. Uh, okay, let's run this. So I have run. You can see there are three Chrome pages, Chrome pages that's open. So one is for Yahoo, and one is for uh, Facebook, and one is for Gmail. And you can see the total time of uh, relative X path is 4,000 milliseconds approx, and 10,000 for absolute X path. So this is one. So I like I told it will repeat for five times. So again we have 3900 for relay two and 9900 for absolute. So again the same result almost. So you can see that uh, 
consistently the relative x path is taking less time compared to the absolute x path so we can compare uh, each result and it's consistent that relative x path is uh, performing far better to the absolute x path which is actually strange uh, so so based on this result that uh, my assumption on uh, absolute x path might be faster than relative x path is wrong here relate to x path is much more faster than the absolute x path yeah that's all uh, please do comment your opinion on this okay take care bye bye if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe for more videos